I am Juana Martinez Neil. I am an author and I am also an illustrator. I made these books right here. Thank you. Um, my first author illustrator book was um, and how she got her name. It's good. Uh, now I'm here to talk to you about Sonia, my new author illustrator book. Sonia's Rainforest is a book about Sonia and how she goes about her day in and around her home, which is in the rainforest of Peru. I was there in January, which is the Peruvian summer, but it's also the rainy season in the jungle. So it can get very, very, very humid to the point that you feel like you can't breathe because it's so humid. Um, Especially when I go from Arizona, where it's so low humidity, it, it was a huge change. The hair goes humongous, <laughs> just explodes. I spent three weeks in Peru, of those I would say a solid two weeks um, traveling through different areas in Peru. And um, it was an amazing trip. I was there actually when I received the call, the call, uh, call for Alma. <laughs> In the uh, jungle of Peru, we have two areas that are two different climates and two different regions. Uh, we have the high jungle and we have the low jungle. The high jungle is from 1,000 to 3,800 3, meters, and then the low jungle clearly is 1,000 and below. And um, we have a more mountainous area and it's also very close to the Andes so as you go down from the Andes you start going through the through the jungle and that's where you get the high the high jungle I think the the best part of the trip was the sharing people opening their homes giving you their time and preparing a meal for you it's just so beautiful to see how little we need in order to enjoy life. But I think that's part of that experience of the trip. I mean, you really think how much do you really need. I love the way the homes were built. Houses are just, I, I love architecture. And that was part of the reason why I was so taken with the roof structures, how they were built, and not only that, but what materials that they used, uh, the colors, <laughs> the colors, the textures, the sounds, because when the wind blows, you can hear, you can hear the shafajada, the leaves blowing too. And, and for what I understand is that this type of structure, it keeps the houses cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so beautiful. It's so green, so dense, so loud. But at the same time, it's not a bad loud. It just fills you. It just, you feel the life. You feel it is alive. That's what it is. And really, I mean, it, it's just this sense of, it's just you in there being, existing in that moment. It's nothing else. And, and I think that's what was so, fantastic about this trip. Uh, I don't think I've ever felt that emotion, that, that feeling of it's just me being here right now. And I enjoy traveling and I enjoy my family. I love them. I, I love everything, but it's just such a different feeling. I've never, never felt that before. There was a struggle throughout the whole book making process. And it was a personal struggle of how much is too much. How much is sharing something that will be sad and will make people sad. And how much needs to be said. The paper is handmade from the pulp from the banana bark, a very rough paper will make even more interesting uh, transfers. And I think that's what I wanted to 
uh, do more in Sony. I, th I thought Sony I was perfect for that type of uh, work. This paper is done by the women in Chasuta in another part of the Amazon. It's in the high jungle. They made it and then I had it sent to Lima and then from there I waited a few months and then when I went to Lima I picked it up and brought it home and then came back and started painting. Part of the reason why I went right to Peru right before painting is because I didn't have a paper. And I, I thought it was perfect because it's done by indigenous women from a material that is from the Amazon. I mean, it just had to be, as soon as I learned about the paper, I knew this is the paper that I had to use for Sonia.